Hello and welcome to a first quick look of this thing here. This is a new flight controller setup from Raystar. Now Raystar have done some pretty good motors in the past. I've had some good experiences with them. But this is the first flight controller that I've had for them. So I thought I would show you what it is, show you how it comes in the box and talk about what I plan to do with it. So inside this very small box is a lot of goodies. Inside here is the flight controller, the GPS, and also a remote USB connection, which I'm a big fan of. The flight controller itself is an F405 compatible flight controller. So it has an IMU barometer, obviously an on-screen displays on here as well, and the little micro SD card slot at the top for black box. Two motor outputs and four servo outputs means it's perfect for smaller planes. Two I squared C pads and the wiring diagram is on the website. Firmware for this thing, because it's a 405 compatible board, obviously you've got the iNav stuff, so that's an F405 SE target, and Ardu Pilot is the F405 wing compatible stuff as well. Power distribution board is on the bottom for this. It'll support 2 to 6S LiPo and it comes with all of the leads that you need to put it all together. 5 volt BC output is 2 amps and it's voltage adjustable for the servos. It's, it's 5 volts by default but it'll go to 6 or 7.2 volts via a jumper and that's a 4 amp setup. So probably not going to use it with anything more than little 9 gram servos. Now the only sad thing about this is that it doesn't come with anything installed. Yeah, all of the different pieces come separately and it's up to you to kind of put them together. I made a decision to put right angled pins on mine because it's going to go into this model here. This is my ZOHD Dart 250G and it has been running with a co-pilot and it's been great but I want an on-screen display. I miss my on-screen display. I really hope that ZOHD bring out a co-pilot uh, full version rather than the co-pilot light we've got at the moment with some more OSD stuff on it. And I've been looking for a flight controller to fit inside here and I think this is the one I'm going to use. So there'll probably be a follow-up video to show you how I get on. But the nice thing is, is because it will fit in here and it will fit easily, uh, it does mean that even though the three board stack for this flight controller is a little bit deeper than some that I've got, it will fit in here. The other option for this would have been something like a Matek F411 WSE. I put one of those in a Mate's S800 wing uh, in December and that was quite a cute little board. So it's interesting to see how this race style flight controller will go together. Now for me, I've spent a little bit of time putting all of the pins on. I uh, said I put the right angle pins on mine. The pins that come with it are very nice, but that would increase the height of the stack even more. And I don't have that much room in that little plane, so I need the connectors to come out either side. And then I've also had to connect the power distribution board bits. So the lead that is supplied, both XT60 and XT30, which is very nice. So I can connect that to the battery. And then I've also had to connect up the servo leads for the two control surfaces for that wing. So at the end of all that, it looks like uh, this spaghetti. Now this is available with and without the GPS. Um, so we have the GPS connected on one side and I have the remote USB. Uh, I hope this performs as well as it does, as I think it's going to. Uh, this will be a cute little setup for smaller planes in particular. If for no other reason than because it does have the remote USB port. Now the cable is ridiculously long and it would be nice to have uh, silicon covered wires which are a little bit more flexible. I might cut and solder this cable um, or I might just bundle it up. But this does mean that you can hide this little guy away in the model and still have access to the USB connector for things like INEV updates and that kind of stuff. So I just thought this was interesting. This is um, a kind of a fun one. I've been looking for a flight controller to go in my ZOHD Dart 250 for a while. And uh, this one with all the pieces seemed like a pretty good deal. So join me in the next video uh, where I actually show how it went and uh, what it was like putting this inside the Dart 250 and giving it a fly.
Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.